I made an Adobe Photoshop action that will create instant punk flyers. What's going on everyone? My name is Tom from Dread Labs and I've created a Photoshop action for you that you can download for free. It will turn every photo, every flyer, everything that you've made into a punk flyer instantly. Before I show you, I wanted to ask something personal real quick. I've been making graphic design tutorials for over four years now. I'm nearly reaching 500 videos which is basically 500 free videos that will help you become a better graphic designer. In order to keep doing that for you guys, I need to maintain a source of income through Dreadlabs. Otherwise, I would be forced to get another job. I wouldn't be able to write scripts, record and edit my videos and give you guys new tutorials on a weekly basis. This is where my Patreon channel and my web store come in. My web store contains a lot of assets such as textures and vector packs. And my Patreon channel contains all of the project files from all of my tutorials, a discount code for my web store, as well as exclusive tutorials and Discord privileges. It would mean the world to me if you could show some support there, just so I can keep creating new videos for you guys. Of course, if you do not have any budget, that's completely fine because leaving a like and a comment on this video to boost this video in the algorithm and subscribing to my channel if you haven't done that already will also help out a lot. Sorry for the begging, but this will actually really help me and my channel out and of course, if I wouldn't get any support, I wouldn't be able to keep doing this stuff for you guys. Now, without any further ado, let's dive straight into the freebie. All right, so I've made an A3 print file and I'm just gonna drop in one of the posters that I made during my Creatober challenge. I've been working on a new Photoshop action pack and I figured let's just do this instant punk flyer one and give this to you guys for free. So we'll just click on this play button and we'll run it. And bam, we have an instant punk flyer here. A couple of things, I do have added some textures. You can just remove these if you don't want them. Uh, as well as the stamp effect and this will give you this much more darker blackened effect so this can be easily toggled i prefer this version but of course you can just do it however you like most of this effect is also procedural so if you want to change something you can just simply do that for example you can just go into the filter gallery here and change the light and dark balance if you want to make this flyer a little bit darker you can just simply do that uh, if you want to make it more gritty you can just toggle off the smoothness and turn it to one you can also make it a lot smoother, but this doesn't really simulate a punk flyer anymore. You can also change the grain, lower the intensity to remove some of the grain here. And now let's just show you how to install this effect for yourself. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go to Window Actions. My window is already set up here. You wanna click on this little menu here and go to Load Actions. So in the description down below is a download link and the download link contains a .atn file. You can see it right here at the bottom. Basically, you want to just double click and load this into your Photoshop actions. And as you can see, this will load in the Dreadlabs Instant Punk Flyer. You open the folder down here and you can see where it says Instant Punk Flyer. Uh, basically, all you want to do is click on this, select the layer that you want to punkify and then click on this play button. So let's just demonstrate that one more time. So this is a photo from a previous tutorial on my channel. Uh, let's see what it looks like when we run the instant punk flyer effect on this one. And as you can see, instant grungy punky goodness. And like I said, you can just toggle on and off the stamp effect here uh, as well as the texture. Texture might be a little bit hard to see because I tried to make it as subtle as possible. You'll definitely see it once you work in Photoshop. So yeah, guys, I don't really want to go into the specifics on what's happening here with the effects. It's mostly filter gallery stuff. I do have a full tutorial on how to create these punk flyers yourself. I'll put a link in the description down below. But for now, I hope that you enjoy the punk flyer freebie here be sure to let me know what you create with this effect and like i said during the video it would mean the world to me if you would support dreadlabs in some way shape or form even if it's not throwing down money because liking commenting and sharing this video will also really help out a lot and subscribing to my channel if you haven't done it already one last thing is that most of my subscribers don't seem to see my new videos when they are uploaded and i think that has to do with that they don't click the notification bell button if you click on that button, that will actually help out a lot as well because you get an actual notification once I upload a new tutorial. For example, next week's tutorial will be about creating illustrations without having any drawing skills. So stay tuned for that. And for now, thank you so much for watching. This is Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.